this is Katie Cooper and Mama the Dachama Genius. <laughs> and Ginger Han Cooper. <coughs> and we present. <coughs> I already said it. The Determined Genealogist. You didn't say it loud enough. I didn't say it loud enough. Well, let's say it louder. The Tatara Genealogist. And your picture's upside down. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I go down. No, I can't be able to do it. And this is Betty. And uh, she loves it. So she put up me. And she's saying I love this. And she loves me. How many cats have their own picture? One. How many cats do you know have their own pictures? One. <laughs> Today's lesson is on Google searches, church records, and, pro and some probate. And I'm doing it on Charles Andrew Hahn. You want to hold it? Now, Charles Andrew Hahn was a Methodist minister, as was his bro brother Reuben was a Methodist minister. He moved to Iowa with his dad in, in, 1940, in 1847, and he, they settled in Mount Vernon, Lynn County, Iowa. Now, when he was a young man, a new girl moved into town, and he saw her, and he said to his new buddy, he said, that's the prettiest girl I've ever seen. I'm going to marry her someday. The friend was William Hazlett and also happened to be the, the future brother-in-law of Charles. As he did what he said, he married Oceana. Now, these records are on... Um, it's really hard to find some people. And back when I started genealogy, even to have a census record you had to order a film because they didn't have them on the internet like they do now. And my Hans moved around all the time because they were Methodist ministers. So I found them and um, with the Church of Jesus Christ Latter-day Saints, they have gone in, we've, they've gone in and filmed so many records. It's unbelievable. They went in and they filmed records of the Methodist Church, of their archives. And in the archives, I found two things. I found a letter that Charles Andrew wrote in 1872. And in the letter, it tells about that his parents. Mean? And he, he was born in Summit County, Ohio, September 1st, 1836. September 1st? Mm-hmm. And on the next page, it tells about, oh, and he married October 9th, 1856, to Oce Oceana C. Hazlett. Long time ago. Long time ago. And in here, he also tells the parents of Oceana. And her parents were Andrew and Elizabeth Hazlett. Now, I thought this is kind of weird. His parents. His parents are Andrew and Elizabeth, and her parents are Andrew and Elizabeth. I thought, that's kind of weird. So I called the cemetery, and sure enough, they're all buried there in, in Mount Vernon, in um, the Mount Vernon Cemetery. I'm going to hold this. I also got, <laughs> are you going to show that? I also got his obituary. And this has, person has a beard. He does have a beard. <laughs> a long beard. A long beard. <laughs> now this lesson is it's, uh, our name. And my name first. It gives though. you hints at where to look. Okay, and what my to name look is for. Go ahead. Excuse me. Okay, my name is on it first. That's right. Your name is on it first. Because I'm younger. Yay. Because she's younger and cuter. <laughs> there we go. And, and because we're a team, right? We're a team. Girl group. team. Yeah, girl team. No daddy allowed. <laughs> we better not tell daddy. Dad, daddy says, I have a wife and a mother doing genealogy. I don't need to do it. But anyway, this is on the Determined Genealogist group page on Facebook, but also we now have a blog. And I will post the link to that on the bottom of this video. Now, I also. This guy has beer too. Went to the church archives, 
in in Des Moines, and I got their marriage certificate. And this was from 1956. Oh, it's upside down. And it shows her name as o Oceana. O S O S. Okay. E A S N N A C Hazlett. Okay. This. And it's all part of it. it and they're me. all wrong. But they misspelled his name. They said C A Han H A N N. <laughs> but which is pretty normal with my maiden name. You can spell it every way you want to. She doesn't like her middle name. No, I do not like my middle name. I kind of like that's it. That's why I. But go, I don't want it any in my name anyways. <laughs> but that's why I go by my maiden name and stuff because I just don't like. Well, why did you not change it then to my Cause middle it, name? Because it costs money to change your name. What? It costs money to change your name? That's just weird. <laughs> it does cost money. So it costs okay. money to, to marry? Yeah. Yeah, it does cost money. Everything How costs much money does money. it cost? Except Jesus Christ and his salvation. That's free. Okay. Don't tell him that. Well, it's true. Well, then you might take the bad thing. It's okay. All right. Now, I also found that his dad, Andrew, died. This is that. And um, Charles Andrew was off in another county these being stories. a minister. Wait, are these stories? No, those are um, those probate are records. Probate. Well, I found where Reuben, these the younger son who was a minister, okay, had gotten... All of them. Had gotten um, appointed to be the executor of the will, and and Charles Andrew was upset because Reuben had his mom and his brother. His brother had a handicap since he was three years old when he fell off a of bed, and fell off a of bed. What? He had the estate, and he was going through the money. So Charles fought for it, trying to prove his mom and his um, brother is unsound. He got the custody of his brother, but he didn't of his okay, mother. Okay, okay, I'm sure So even ministers I have, show have track records there. Well, I also found um, Google searches. Google. Okay, why is Some people so say you can't find nothing with Google searches. Get away from me. That is not true. My Great great grandfather <laughs> Charles Andrew. Get away from me. I did. I tried to do Google searches for on my ancestors, looking for information, and I found a book. I did it by Reverend C. A. Hahn. That is what he was um, buried at, and I found that he um, wrote a book, and it was in Iowa City, Iowa, it? and it was about the church. And he did a genealogy on a lot of people that were in Mount Vernon at the time that was in the Methodist yeah. Church. Yeah. And it told a lot about his family, <laughs> his dad, his grandfather, his brother in laws. It told a lot about it. Okay. And it said in that book. Okay. Is this the last part of the video? Yeah. That he was related, a direct descendant, a sir. And he has a John beard too, but Elliot it's smaller. From William Moore's. Now, I did research on that and checked it out, and he ended up. Um, the new king came in, and they used to have like a parliament. They had a group of men that were knights and everything that was that were um, so, what sirs or whatever. Um, and <laughs> anyway, he was one of them. Well, the new king took in. He got rid of all of them, disbanded it. And Sir John Elliot was really mad, and he was outspoken, and he said that the new king was just Ow! going through the money and wasting the money. And so what the king, what money? The money that was left in the treasury. So Ow! the king threw Sir John Elliot up in the tower, and it ended up that John <laughs> Elliot got sick and wanted to go home, and he he asked the king he to let him go home. What, what king? The new king. I think it was King Charles, actually. King Charles? What? Yeah. Him? No. <laughs> Why is they Charles? I know. Isn't that weird? <laughs> and um, it ended up to where the new king said, I will let you go home if you recount what you said. And John Elliot said, no, bye I'm bye not going to do that. So bye he bye ended bye. up dying in the towers. Yeah. I have not proved the lineage back that far, but I'm working on it. Bye, 
Thank you. Bye. 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 That's the lesson today. <laughs> have and a great day. Oh. We, on me, our new blog, we will have it posted. Just me and questions whatever. About hints and where to look and what to find. We will have that posted on there and we will have it on the genealogy Facebook page, group page on Facebook. And we'll have the link to the blog. Katie, go ahead. We have a new YouTube channel. Oh, we're going to have a new YouTube channel. We it's going to be on our crafts. Yay, and we're going to get that up and going. And um, Bye. this is Katie Cooper and, and Ginger Han Cooper presents The Determined Genealogist. And happy hunting. May you find those ancestors that are hard to find. Bye. And, if, uh, uh, and if we can help, uh, uh, let us know. Like us. And subscribe and post if you have a question. Comment we'll be happy to down below something you like about us. <laughs> yeah, something you like about us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh.